Hello and welcome to the Wargamer and another tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how you can base your Blood Bowl miniatures. So here we have the Orc Thrower I'll be basing in this tutorial. Now we want to start off by applying a muddy ground surface. Now we're using Sterling Mud as a base coat, followed by a wash of Agrax Earthshade, before finally dry brushing with Gawthor Brown. So I'll be starting off by applying the Sterling Mud across the base. I want to be quite liberal in the application here. We want to create some nice muddy lumps and also get a nice and even brown base coat across the base. Now when you're actually applying this, make sure you avoid actually filling in the hole that you can apply, that you can add in the actual the balls in later. You don't want to cover that up, otherwise you'll actually be able to attach the Blood Bowl ball to the base during gameplay. So after the Sterling Mud has been applied and allowed to dry, we now want to apply a, a wash of Agrax O'Shade over the surface. And what this will do is it'll darken down the mud, it'll also pull into these recesses here as well, really bring out some of the texture in the paint that we applied on the previous step. Now, just be careful not to overspill onto the miniature that you've already painted at this stage, just be quite careful in applying it around the feet, but otherwise you can be quite liberal in the application. The final step in painting the mud base is to dry brush it with Gawthor Brown. Now I've got a dry brush here, I've removed most of the paint from the brush, so as I lightly drag it across the surface, what it'll do is it'll pick out some of the raised lumps of mud, and it'll really bring out the detail in the surface. You can see here, I'm just building up the layers slowly with just a small amount of paint on my brush. With the mud completed, the next step is to paint the rim of the base here. Now personally I'll be going for a black, so I'll be using a bad and black for this. So prior to applying the bad and black, I've mixed in just a small amount of water into the mix, and this will really help us to coat this large area, as you can see here. It makes the paint a lot easier to work with. It also thins it down, which means I'll be able to apply two thin coats of paint and get a very deep black color without having to apply a thick layer of paint. With the rim of the base completed, we can now start applying some grass. Now I'm going to be applying some static grass basing glue from Warworld Scenics, which I uh, reviewed in one of my previous videos. Now I'm going to be applying this in several clumps. You can see I'm not applying it quite uniformly over the surface. We want to imagine that this Blood Bowl pitch has been churned up and hasn't necessarily been looked after particularly well. So we want to just apply it in clumps across the surface. And this leaves some of the painted mud visible through the recesses. This is why we actually go to the trouble of painting the mud itself. So once you're happy with the amount of glue that you've applied to the base, what you need to do is bring in some static grass. I'm using some uh, summer green static grass as well. You want to apply some clumps of the grass over the surface like so, so it sticks to the base and then once you're happy with the application you can just tap the excess off and you have your grass. With the static grass dry, we're now going to be moving on to painting some white stripes on the surface of the grass. And for this, we'll be using white scar. Now for this step, instead of using a brush, I'll be using instead uh, a piece of string or wood. You can see here I've got a line there. I'll be using the white scar to actually paint on the edge of the wood like so. And it might seem a bit strange that I'm doing this at the moment, but you want to get a, a decent layer of paint on there. Once you've done that, you want to take your piece of wood, line up the paint to where you actually want the line to appear, and just lightly dab it onto the surface like so. And this will create a really nice straight line on the surface of the grass. And here we have the completed Blood Bowl player. Now whilst I focused mainly on Blood Bowl miniatures, you could apply the exact same techniques, minus the actual line painting, to any of your miniatures. If you enjoyed this video, please do be sure to check out my previous Blood Bowl tutorials, and also subscribe to be kept up to date with any future content. To be kept up to date with all the projects that I'm currently working on, be sure to check out my Facebook page, which you can find a link to in the description. And if you would like to support me in making future content and tutorials, you can do so by checking out my Patreon page. From there, you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, and that's really helped me in producing future content. And again, you can find a link to my page in the description below. So until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.